Hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy, and as you can tell, we're on Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So I've been quite busy while you've been gone. Made myself a little bookmark. Just took some white fabric, put the field notes down it, put 24, did this lovely layered flower on the top. Perfect little bookmark. So yeah. <laughs> I've also, you may remember I told you that I liked the idea of that um, England is a garden where they had these sketches and then the flowers at the front. So I did myself some tracing paper drawing and just did a little stitchery. Don't know what next prompt is, but it's going to have a bit of a brick wall in it. <laughs> so I've also done some other stitching. I did. This is what happens when you stamp and stitch. Or this one I stamped. This is a Tim Holtz rose and a number and some words. And I just did some stitching there. So yeah, I've been having a good old play while you've been gone. So we'll get that out of the way. Now... So, this is where I'm up to. Um, for my homework, I finished off these hairy alums. I did the crosses for the big balls and I started to do the spiky one also. So I've got one more spike and one more big globe to do. And although I've written deep purple there, I think I'm going to use the silvery white. I feel like it needs brightening up a bit. So, I'm going to pull off some of this. And for those of you who don't yet know, this is 248 in the sheepies. Now, it's called the Sugar Rush because it's the bigger ball. This is the 50 gram, I believe. Yeah, 50 grams. Whereas the smaller ones are 25 grams, so they're called sweet treats. But it's exactly the same thread. Okay. Oh, can't find an end now. There's the end. Why is it right under there? Now, look, we're going to get a knot. Oh, it's a great start, Claire, isn't it? Right. Anyway, how are you? How are you getting on? Are you all still loving it? Are you as excited about it all as I am? I'm seeing loads and loads of videos coming up people doing all sorts of different things I've what have I seen I've seen um, hammered flowers I've seen um, uh, what's the word uh, napkins being used I've seen all sorts of things people are really really going to town with this but then of course it does allow you so many options okay now for this one, this spiky one, I followed um, Jennifer Clouston's idea. Um, I can't remember what she called it, but basically, let's get everything out of the way. Come on, Claire. Right, basically, what she did was she did a like lazy daisy type stitch. So, came through here like this okay obviously lift your thread come back in to that same hole or very very close to it over that thread to give you your lazy daisy stitch like that okay and then get the angle with your needle and just go through to the middle. I can't remember what she called this now, but I watched her doing these and I thought they were fabulous. Okay, so I'll show you again. So just literally coming up. I'll have to have a look in the, her book and see if I can um, work out what it was she called it. Um, and then obviously just up to make your lazy daisy well, it was when she was doing her did she call it a dead tree I can't um, oh, 
here we go, I'm getting knots again. I can't remember if she called it her her dead tree. Um, and this was um, what she used to form the grasses at the base of the tree and then back to that middle point like that. And I basically just went all the way round. I should have got a short thread, shouldn't I? That really would have made life a bit easier, Claire. And now you're tightening this knot up. There you go. Um, and then you just pull up. Okay. So I just worked, worked my way all the way round. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to cut this thread off because this is going to be ridiculous. Can't do this every five minutes, Claire. Right, so let's just cut that there. Pull that off the needle and start again. So yeah, seeing all sorts of things coming up. Loving it. Um, I've seen lots of people using stamps in the way that I have been. Um, I saw Sally over at Dotty B. She used an old typewriter and typed some words and then actually onto some, I think it was cotton, might have been linen, onto some fabric printed um, types directly onto the fabric and then cut them out and um, stitched them on. I thought that was a great idea. <clears throat> I don't have um, a typewriter so it's not something that I could do and I'm just thinking that me stitching this white is probably making it quite hard for you to see the stitching. And as you can see, I made a point of making some longer and some shorter. And then there was other ones that where I put the midway V on, but I didn't do it to all of them. So I just, you know, sort of messed around with it a little bit to get some, some good shaping going. So yeah, that's where we went with it. And just kept going through that same centre hole. Till I got all the way round. We finally seem to have got into summer here. The last few days have been beautifully sunny and summer-like. Finally, <laughs> and some I put um, closer together than others, as you can see, it just really varied, um, you know, as to what mood I was in, really. I made them bigger and smaller because, I mean, Nothing's identical in nature, and <clears throat> her maid is not identical either, is it? So, I thought that worked pretty well for me. Pull that one? No, pull that one, Claire. There we go. So, yes, that's um, what I did. Oops. Now this one, you'll see I've not put any of those spikes on. I don't think I'm going to do it on this one. Also, you'll see that on these ones i now ironed off my um, writing. Where I drew the circle, well not writing, my lines. Where I drew the circles. We come right out here with this one. There we 
go. Pull that through and pop that in. And then this one I think I'm going to go down low. You can just see it's coming all the way round. But, but, you know, different lengths and different spacings. Some I'm doing really close. I know I'm repeating myself now, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, that's Boo snoring. You can always tell when the uh, weather's picked up. Because she's a big dog, she struggles a little bit with the heat. So she's huffing and puffing and laying down in the back lobby. <coughs> okay, so I'm just working my way around here. Um, like this is in, not enough thread for me to carry on so I'm just gonna tie this off and get a new piece hmm. I like it I've got my alum in, in my homework, got that stitched down, so that was good. In fact, I found myself not able to leave this alone. I keep picking it up and doing different bits, like the wall, and um, I did the bookmark, didn't I? I can't, yeah, I just can't leave it alone. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm wondering actually if Corinne has the right idea in doing two because then um, you know there's a lot of work to do and you can't leave it alone but um, I suppose I could do you know my local surroundings uh, and I am fairly close to the beach so we could I could do that but I think one of anything's enough for me. <clears throat> I did, however, receive my order from Corinne for my Christmas tea towels. So they've landed, which is uh, very exciting. You know, I like to have a Christmas project ready to go. So that's awesome. In fact, you want to have a sneak preview. Well, it's not sneak preview, is it? Because she's shown them on her channel. But do you want to have a look? Shall I get them? I'm not going to be stitching them just yet. I know they're here and I know it's going to burn a bit of a hole so they're going to keep calling to me from the corner but I want them to be my Christmas project so probably start I don't know maybe October time to uh, have them sitting in the background alongside the Roxy stuff I think that's what I'm going to do Uh, boom boom very exciting I feel like I should have an extra one there which I think can you see how I keep trying to go and do French knots that's weird um, I think I'll have to add one in there as I get 
round to the end just because I feel like there's uh, the gaps that shouldn't be there so we'll um, we'll add another one in there and not only am I doing the gaps different and the lengths different I'm also doing the like I'm going to call them seed heads I don't know what they really are I'm doing them different sizes as well just to keep it really sort of varied some are big some are small right now I've only really got one more here Um, but then I would like, as I say, to get one in the other side. I don't know if I've got enough thread. Let's find out. Oh, it's going to be tight. Got a little tiny one in. But we are gonna fill that gap so we'll pull up through look don't come out the needle please don't come out the needle and then just poke that through there i hope i've not been stitching that all off screen that would be a bit of a disaster wouldn't it there you go so there's the white one and then the other white one down here is obviously the crosses because it's the different plant. Well, it's of the same plant family, but right. So we'll give that a snip. We'll thread this in and get our crosses in. See, look, I've not even pulled it off the boom more than five minutes and I've got a knot in it goodness me it's just me obviously I'm beginning to wonder if I ought to uh, be running my threads through some wax and of course because of my old day job I do have beeswax around and again because of my old day job it would be fairly easy to make it smell pretty awesome so maybe that's what I need to do right so I'm just doing little crosses all the way around the edge and then I um, I just went round and filled in the middle as well basically that's all I did so just following that circle line because unlike the other one where it's all spouting out just one second sorry about that that was hubby's phone going off in the background uh, I hope I don't get blanked by eBay, uh, eBay, by YouTube because of the music playing. I hope not. I would have thought um, music that's on phones. Oh, what happened there, Claire? Is pretty copyright free. So I hope anyway. Otherwise, we're going to have a bit of an issue, aren't we? Right. Oops. I totally forgot what I was saying now. Oh yeah, unlike the spiky Schubert, was it, I think? Schubert one at the top. Um, this one is a globe. So we want it to remain within that circle. I think I probably am right sort of on the edge of the screen. I said if I pull my chair in, come a bit more in the middle. Hopefully that's a bit better. 
um, so yeah there you go that's all I'm doing I'm just doing little crosses all the way around the edge and then obviously I'll do some more greenery because we've got some stalks left today um, and then of course on Wednesday there will be um, a new prompt how about that don't know what that's going to be it's so exciting find yourself sort of waiting for Wednesday lunchtime I don't know why I say Wednesday lunchtime because they don't always come out lunchtime obviously they come out when the girls can do them got lives the same as we have um, but yeah it's so exciting basically just sitting here happily stitching with the sun gloriously shining on my garden um, and they're not alliums it's actually a hydrangea but I've got a hydrangea which is an Annabelle hydrangea and it has got, which I bought because that's my granddaughter's name. Um, it has got heads on it. I'm not joking. The heads are like that. Big puff balls. Absolutely amazing. And the thing is obviously so happy where I planted it. Now I'm no gardener. I expected it to die if I'm honest. Um, it's obviously so happy because it's now about five foot tall it's absolutely amazing so it's a, just a big big sea of white puff balls it's beautiful i suppose really I'll take you for a little walk and show you shouldn't i well i couldn't do it now because hubby's up me garden on his phone <laughs> so there you go so you see i just went all the way around the edge and I think it looks totally different with the circle on there. You have to get that circle ironed off. And then it just looks totally different. So again, my X's, crosses, they're all slightly different sizes, different widths, different lengths. Because I'm just... You know going around the edge basically some I've got close together some I've got gaps on if we thought about K3N this would be a wonky allium <laughs> I do love Catherine um, not only does she do some great work she's like really sort of down to earth and natural and that's what I love and I do find look I started off small and I've just got bigger and bigger and bigger as I've gone round so I've been starting to watch Jerry as well Jerry Bellini I think I said to you that I'd done her dot a day, made a, a dot book, which I love. Uh, and when I did it, I was busy looking for something to put on the spine. And I found a piece of fabric 
that I printed with blue paint and real leaves last year. Been around for a while, you might remember seeing it. Um, and I was able to use that for my spine. So, where is it? Is it just here? I'll show you. So, there's my four dots on the front. There's my four dots on the back. And this was what you can just about see the leaf print. And I used it on the spine. So that was uh, quite handy. Finding that gave me the spine for that. So yeah, I just feel like I've been stitch, stitch, stitch all over the place. Um, I've done hardly any paper work, as in, you know, junk paper for my journals. It's just been all stitchering. Stitchering? Oh goodness me, Claire, you need to get a new set of teeth by the sounds of things. <laughs> Ironic statement, my daughter's been to the dentist today. So. There you go. <coughs> Oh, it sounds like a heated conversation hubby's having. It's not a bad one. Just, <laughs> I can hear him. So. Right. That's my second row. You can see we're just starting to come in um lost my train of thought there we go over there and now i'm going to deliberately get sort of one or two that are out of line here if i can just to make it a bit more natural and a bit well it's not very regimented anyway is it because I'm not going in straight lines, but you know. That's B, you can hear snoring. Well, I presume you can hear her. Although you can probably hear hubby more, I would have thought. Because <laughs> I can hear him over her snoring. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good, Claire. Let's. Oh! When I got up and got that book, my chair was all skew with. I don't know where I am now. There? Yeah. I'm gonna come up there. Down there. Up there. I'm gonna try and get a little tiny one in there. Because, like, just now upstairs there. Not that one. I feel like there's a gap there that shouldn't be there. So I'm just going to fill it in with another cross. There we go. You can see all different sizes. And I did see a video the other day, um, Marion's World. Um, she was boot fair shopping. <laughs> and it's always interesting to see what people manage to find at boot fairs. There we go. That's that one. Um, and she was talking about how, you know, sometimes you have to think outside the box and look at the actual, say, fabric of a shirt or a sheet rather, and look at it as fabric rather than as a sheet. There we go. So we've got our two other alums in. 
we just got a bit of greenery so this is that dark green this is 394 I can't believe this one's going to be finished I'll get my iron out uh, whoops and we'll take the lines off so that we can see it in all its glory how does that sound does that sound good sorry I'm just trying to thread this needle you should be used to me by now oh when that happens it's really annoying all right chat amongst yourselves while I do this I listen to the deep tone of Boo's snoring great for falling asleep so I can assure you right there we go um, I decided that I wanted to put some like dead straight grass type lines here because um, I said to you I couldn't find a picture of alums with um, leaves so although they haven't got leaves I'm going to give them leaves <laughs> it's my stitchery and I can do what I like it just feels wrong um, that they haven't got leaves so rather than obviously a leaf shape I'm just going to do these like dead straight type grass lines just like that yeah and then I'm going to move over here and get this first globe and I'm just doing back stitch down there which is what I did to all the others um, but then I did another row next to it and then I just wrapped it a couple of times so I've now got both stitches so I'm just going to whip or wrap whatever you want to say just over that middle one pick up them two just like that and that just gives me what I call a nice what I like to call no sorry if you're in the UK you might know the Amanda sh uh, the Miranda show and therefore what I'm talking about there if not don't worry about it just put it down to Clara and the crazy moment <laughs> okay so we've got a leaf coming or a grass coming out of there okay um, I'm not going to do the one the other side I'm going to jump over here to this globe and then I'm just going to run my back stitch down there and get this stalky bit going now of course this is the only one where you can of the globes where you can see all of that base so because there's nothing in front of it I mean this one you can as well but it's so short so I'm just running back up here
then out the top and then just do that wrap one ow oh, stab myself so and I'm like doing every other one I'm not doing every one because um, I don't want it too big and chunky I just want it thicker than a line of stitching if that makes any sense and then through to the back and we give ourselves this leafy bit again there, down there, up the other side, down there, and down there. So there's like two on that side. Okay, and then one on this side. and then oh, that's the last one the white one and give that whoops I know a lot of stitchers work on two layers and most of the time when I'm stitching I do do that I've not done it this time around because this is quite a heavy cotton it's quite heavy um, and because of the amount of pages in my book and obviously adding to each page I didn't really want the extra density of it so I've just stitched on the one it's proving more than ample to hold this stitching as you can see so I'm very happy with that down there yeah and I think we'll have one up here and then another shorter one there I can hear Jennifer Cleaston saying, tidy up your bottom. <laughs> oh dear. Right, there we go. That is my alum page done. So, this prompt is finished. Pull that there. Give that a snip. And then I'm going to bring my iron in. I'm going to whack that on bring in my ironing mat and we are just going to get rid of those lines so that we can see it in its full glory and it does give you a chance to fold out all the creased up areas where you keep handling it obviously the edges get bent over and all sorts so this bit here look this while I'm here with the iron oh, should do it from the other side because it's got ironed in now I think where I was ironing out the lines there we go So that is prompt number one done and dusted. Allium. I'm pleased. As always, I'd like to say a huge thank you for you coming along and joining me today. Hope you found some joy and inspiration. If not, just pleasure in watching me stitch quite cack handedly. 
and we wait to see what Wednesday is going to add to this one. Stay safe, I'll see you very soon. Ta-ta for now.